something was going on with my CPU situation right now. Before I show y'all this, I want to tell y'all something. I have a I have a i7 processor. I got 16 gigabytes of RAM, right? 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I got a, I got a game video card. You know, the quality as far as the video and the images and everything. And my gigahertz is like two point something. You know what I'm saying? So it got a pretty nice little speed to it. Okay, but. In Studio One, my damn CPU should be jumping like this. And I'm going to tell you everything that I got. Now, all these tracks down here. Okay. These only these only tracks I got. These only tracks I got four. I'm going to play this back. Right? The only tracks I got. Now, out of all these tracks, I got a drum machine. And I got a, a second drum machine with samples in it with no effects on it. There's no effects on none of these tracks right here. Only, only, only this track is a Pro EQ. Right? Okay. Now this track, I got a presence. Not a presence, but I got a um one of the VSC instruments. None of the effects on right here, right? Okay. So I got two, I got two VSC instruments. Okay. Now and these VSC instruments, do I got some stacks on here? No, no stacks. All right, no, nah, no stacks. All right. Now, only effects I got on here besides the two instruments is on the track. I, I put this on here. I, I'm just playing with it, put like a little mastering preset. I just want to play the mastering preset part. I got a Pro EQ, multi band, tri comp, limiters, a spectrum meter, and a phase meter, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit of CPU. Not only that, when you go to my sound card, I got a good I got a, I got good RAMs. I got the sound card set on 576. Now I know when I when you do mixing, you want to take the sound card higher. You get what I'm saying? You always want to bring your sound card sample rate higher. You know what I'm saying? When you mixing. But the thing is, I, I'm just doing some testing because it on 576 with 16 gigs of rams you know my shit should be jumping like this because normally i have it down to 128 like in bitwig i can have it down to 128 and i have these problems with they with they stock plugins remember this is this is stock plugins so i'm gonna play this back because you know once it start peaking it start cracking a lot now look how i shoot it look how i shoot it They about to start hitting the crazy popping. Now, I don't know if you can hear it. In this speaker right here, a lot of cracking is coming through. Even when I press it, even when I turn the plug in on and off, like you get a lot of cracking. Like, and that cracking shit is annoying. You know what I'm saying? And it's what my point is is this that for for what I got, I, it should be shooting that high, man, for the little shit I just put on it. You get what I'm saying? Like, even though I do bust stuff and what's up with a CPU, man? I got two presence instruments that's running. You know what I'm saying? I see if I got five, six, seven of them. Like, come on now. Um, on all my tracks at the bottom, only got one pro EQ and on the master level, I got one, two, three, four. I got four plugins that are take, that, that take CPU. You get what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, I mean, I already know what's going on, but I'm here to show you what's eating the CPU up. Hold up. Give me a second. The dropout protects me. Let me turn this down to minimum and see what happens.
So when I put the when I put the dropout protection on minimum, it shoots down pretty good. So uh, you know, um, uh, I gotta figure out what that dropout protection really mean because from my understanding they say you want to have it on maximum. But it seems like when it's on maximum, it's just shooting out crazy. I don't know. Fellas, what y'all think? It's your crystal.